Right, Tyron, tell us about your last uh, 24 hours. How was it in terms of uh, trading? How did you do? What did you trade? If you want, you can share your screen with us and show yeah. us how, how bad you did. <laughs> no problem. Uh, I'll first explain it and then I'll go over to the screen. Uh, so the market's a bit volatile, but it's also a lot of free money to be made. Uh, if you find certain, like if you look at the GBP, USD, or maybe all the dollar pays, like the dollar is really dominating. It's it's crazy. I don't know what is happening. Like it's really crazy. And a, a lot of people are benefiting from it, but there's also a lot of people who get, who get hurt from it. So let me just quickly share my screen and I'll just show you guys a few of my, my trades I took um, between yesterday. Actually from Monday, today's Wednesday, from Monday till today. So if I just go to my trading view, so this is a trade I took this morning. It really played out super well. We were probably in this trade only for about two hours and we secured over for 50 pips on it. So yeah, first take profit, were, we entered over there and we exited over here. Market hit us out and went back up. So that was actually a good trade taken on Euro JPY. Uh, the funny thing yesterday, I always see a correlation to be, uh, between Euro JPY and GPP JPY. But yesterday when GPP JPY dropped, we were in it, but G uh, Euro JPY didn't sell. And today uh, it finally came down. Our other trade was uh, GPP JPY, another beautiful uh, setup with nice rising winds, a break of structure, markets has dropped, retested this area, we entered again there this morning and now we had some nice continuation. Another, let me just quickly see how many pips were secured on this trade. Another 212 pips. This is actually big. Usually the daily pip movement on GPP JPY is between 85 to 96 pips. And for 212 pips, it's really, really good. That means that it's over 100 pips per day. So yeah, if I look at my DXY as well, my DXY is super bullish. Wow. Um, to be honest, like I was really shocked. I never expected the dollar to strengthen this week. Mm -hmm. I had to change my whole bias after the show on Monday. Um, because when I started looking at things, I was like, no, no, this dollar isn't getting weak, it's getting stronger. So, um, so yeah, so dollar is g gaining a lot of strength. It's really, I don't know what is happening. I was looking at selling gold actually today as well. I got kicked out the first time and I see it started dropping now. So I'm actually a bit <laughs> upset about that. But yeah, so <laughs> but I think my stop loss was too tight. Um, that was just before I came into the show. So yeah, but really a good setup. You can see a nice... Um, a nice flag, nice continuation. So yeah, there's a lot of a lot of opportunities in the markets. But my only concern is is that from a technical point of view, gold broke this price area of one thousand seven hundred and uh, let me just quickly say one thousand seven hundred and forty dollars. It broke it, and it was holding for a long time. Now to me, it's like if the market breaks this area, can we see a continuation going lower? Like, I don't want to see something like that, but it's really a possibility due to the fact that it broke that support area. So there's, there's so many crazy things happening in the market then. So I'm really, I'm on the, on the fence, to be honest. So I only take short trades or scalp it, but if there's proper setups like the GPP, JPY, and the Euro JPY, I definitely play out. But it all depends also on the momentum of the candles as well. And here you guys can clearly see this is big, big, big candles on the four hour. So, so yeah, that's my, my, my take on that. Um, let me just quickly move to my Marcus.com account. And then we can do a few analysis on the spot crude oil. So yep. login quickly. How did you do in the last uh, in the last 24 hours? Did you make money or did you lose money overall? I made I made quite a few money, a few bucks. I'm not gonna uh, mention. And, uh, let's say oh, almost two hundred thousand. I just fell short of, of, of two hundred thousand in rand. Um, I closed just below one hundred and eighty-five thousand. That is in capital. I withdrew without my my deposit in my account. So it was really fairly a good um, trading day. Um, I found a lot of opportunities to scale into the market. So uh, that actually helped me a lot. But let's quickly look at the, the crude oil currently. I really love the setup as it is. The reason I have why a breaking I... news. I have a breaking news coming on the screen right now. There we go. That is the breaking news. Tyron Schultz made 200,000 rands in 24 hours. Now, this is the news, guys. Don't copy his <laughs> trades, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was also surprised to be honest. I was also surprised. I, I didn't expect it to happen within two days, but yeah, that's the market's view.
All right. Really well done, man. Really well done in the last Thank 24 you. hours. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Bye-bye. Right. Take care, man. Have a good one. Right, ladies, gentlemen, traders, we had uh, Tyron with us. Uh, he made 200,000 rands in the last 24 hours. Well done to him. He also made 50,000 rands uh, last week. Therefore, the beer is on him. Now, this was it from my side today, guys. We had a lot of things going on uh, in the markets. The volatility is still on as the four um, uh, bank uh, presidents are joining yeah, a, uh, a panel. And all four of them will, uh, will talk about the tapering measures and when will that happen? This is it. Join me again tomorrow, same time, same place for New Round the Market Talks. And until then, please remember to trade responsibly and may all your trades be in the money. This video was sponsored by Markets.com. Keep your finger on the market pulse with the News Alerts tool. Stay up to date on the latest sentiment across all the major asset classes. Uncover bullish or bearish signals tied to specific assets that could be developing before major price moves. And track how news sentiment correlated with price in the past. Track the news volume on an asset, its fear index, and get a better feel for its underlying strength. All with News Alerts, your central hub for market information. That's higher trading from MarketX.